Hello everyone, welcome aboard once again onto the plot. I'm going to show you a montage of the photos we've taken of the renovations we've done. There will be a video coming on probably either straight after or the next day once I've done this of um, how the boat looks now. But here we go. So here we have on screen the essential items when you are renovating a boat. Prosecco and a paintbrush. So this is a photo of the boat before we started sanding. So at this point I think we'd sort of removed everything um, that we needed to get rid of um, in order to start. We did a, you can see at the panel just near the doors on the ceiling that's the first one we did sort of a tester on that one just to make sure that the paint went out, went on okay and we wanted to make sure we kept the grain of the wood in there because um, although we don't like this wood look which is why we painted it we still wanted to keep the grain in there which we've achieved so we're really pleased with it. So this photo is taken quite early days again We've taken off, you can see all the curtains and things off there, ready to start painting. This is, so there was a few panels, you can see they were in blue. They were already painted when we bought the boat. And that's the, I don't know if you can see it on that picture, but that's the um, cooker that had the chips in. I explained a little bit more about that in the video, which will come after this montage. This is the kitchen view before renovation. So I think in the, there's a slide further on that shows the state of the kitchen works top. It was completely rotted through. So we definitely needed to put a new work top on there. And there's the old tiles and things beforehand. Again, this is another view of the boat before we painted so that door leads through to the shower room and the bedroom. So we've probably put on, I think this is just the undercoat. So we discovered it was better to, I don't know if you can see that in, at the top, we put the masking tape on, which did make it a lot better um, for pulling that off and obviously getting a, a nicer finish. Um, we haven't done anything with that area where you can see where the stern do doors are. We still need some new ones of them at some point. Um, and that's a control panel there that you can just see on the left hand side. Again, we've not done anything with that other than Chris has checked to make sure everything's okay in there. But at some point we will sand all that down and varnish. This is one of the panels in the main living room. So this is, I think this had had two coats at this point um again this one was painted before so it took a few actually it could have been through five in total that i think we had to put on this five or six even um because it had already been painted um so i haven't really got that wood finish that we that we wanted to come through in the paint but it has on the ceiling which was the main one because that was just bare wood so this is after we've put a few coats on there, just so you can see the difference between the before and after. So again, I think this probably had about three coats. You can still see the old sort of brass vent, air vents up there that go out, the little mushrooms that you see on top of the narrow boats. These are air vents, which are very important, obviously, but we've changed all those, which I'll show you in a later picture. Well, this panel is just having its first coat on the ceiling, so really difficult. Really makes your arms ache doing the um, sanding and painting on the roof. Luckily, Chris did a lot of it because I was at work, so win-win for me. Really love this um, picture. It gives you a really good idea of sort of the length of the boat in the main area. When we um, started looking for boats, the main thing we wanted was this reverse layout, but a really open living room area. We didn't want somewhere that felt really enclosed. 
And I think painting it white was the right decision because, I mean, I know we've not got curtains up on there, but it just it's really light and really nice and cosy. So this was a lovely moment, really, when we were painting the boat because, as you can see, every panel that we wanted to paint has been painted. So it really gave us the sort of effect that we wanted on the boat. Um, and we we always planned to leave these strips at the top um, and on the gunnels wood, which we've since, um, I use the Royal We, Chris, has since varnished. Um, we've also put new light fittings in there as well, as well as the vents I mentioned earlier. but. Yeah, I really like this picture because a lot of hard work to get it to this point with all the sand in, but really paying off. This is the rotten worktop that I mentioned earlier. You can see now that we've taken the tap off how disgusting it was. It was completely rotted through, so we definitely had to replace that. Um, there's the washing machine showing on here, but we haven't got that on board anymore. We now use that space for the bins, and because we live in a marina, we don't. We've got access to washing machine all the time. So maybe one day when we go cruising, we'll reinstate a washing machine just because it's handy to have one on board, even if they do use perhaps quite a lot of electric. This is the old worktop being removed, which went relatively smoothly for a change. So we didn't quite know what we were going to find be behind, but everything looked pretty good, actually. Um, we just had to clean up. We kept the old carcasses of the um, the kitchen units. On, on hindsight, I think we probably would have replaced them, but we thought that might be a sort of a job too far, really, with the time we had to renovate. So we kept them and we've just put new doors on and they look really good. Perhaps, probably should have put this photo before the others, but never mind. This is just to show you the tools of the trade once again. So very important, Prosecco, paintbrush, but also a hammer. So I apologise for the view of Chris's feet on this one. So this is him clearly relaxing and taking a break he thinks he deserves from the DIY. Watching, um, I think that, was that Robbie Cumming and Narrowboat Will on there. So um, the long piece, the cardboard there is the worktop. So I must admit it was a little bit tricky having things delivered to store before you, in, you know, install them onto the boat because... Where do you put stuff? There's just no room. So we spent quite a lot of time moving things from one space to another, which is tricky when you live in a small space, but got there in the end. Don't know if I really need to record anything on this one, but this is just to show the new vents that we fitted. Um, stainless steel ones on the ceiling. And these are the new light fittings that we've put in as well to match the vents and also all the sockets that we've changed. And these are the plug sockets. I don't really know why I'm explaining these to them because you know what they are. But we've got the ones with the USB points on them which are really useful. And the light fittings just to finish off all the bits and bobs that we've put on there so it all looks uniformed. So this is the new worktop, the oak worktop that we've had fitted, um, which looks absolutely fabulous. I will have to have a shout out to my friend Mick, who came and uh, helped us with it and did some beautiful joints on the um, on the worktop. Looks really, really nice. We've had to oil it quite a few times. And to be honest, in hindsight, I don't know whether we would have just gone for a bog standard worktop rather than an oak one because it does require a little bit more maintenance but it looks really good. As you can see from this picture the sink's gone in um, and the tap. I do mention in the video later about changing this tap um, so I'll mention that again but um, there's the first line of the tiles gone on. 
So I just wanted to show you the lovely join that Mick did um, with these worktops because it looks really, really good. It was something, he's going to tell me off, something to do with, is it a biscuit joint or something? I just had biscuit in my head for some reason, but then again, I am a bit hungry, so that could be why. But anyway, it looks fabulous. Love the grain of the wood. These are the new doors that we've had fitted. So we wanted to make sure sort of the tiles and the cupboards matched. And we haven't got any handles on these. They're like, um, you know, the push self closing. What they're called? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but they're just push close. So uh, we don't, because it's so easy in a small space to catch yourself on things. So we thought having these ones would uh, be the best option and they work really well. This is the new cooker going in. Um, we're really happy with this, other than the fact that it can be a little bit tricky with the with the shelves. So um, it's, it's a really nice oven, but I don't know how to explain it. Um, I really should do a little bit of research and think about what I'm going to say before I come on. But the shelves sort of catch on there, on the edge. So it's a little bit tricky, Get a little bit of getting used to, but it works well. Other than that, obviously. Right, moving on. It's not really the best picture in the whole world in terms of showing you the um, interior of the oven. But look how psychedelic it looks. Freaky man. Please ignore all the sawdust on the floor and the mess. But this is a nice view of when the um, cooker and hob had been fitted, the sink was fitted. Um, so, yeah, that's just a, a really nice sort of picture of that so you can get the overall look that we're going for. Well, I hope you can. Another view of the worktop. So this probably should have come before because this is just before the hob was fitted although the hob was taken out and refitted many times um, but that was another nice view of it and this is before obviously the row of tiles went on but it's just nice to show the base sides because on the other side the, the little side on the left that's part of the original worktop that Mick kindly chopped up for us um, to use on there um, just for now because at some point we're going to change that perhaps get another piece of worktop to go along the whole side of there. But there's a little bit of um, a step next to the steps, if you can see that. So we might try and do something with that at some point. Right, stop waffling, next picture. Won't record um, anything for the next picture. So this is just to show the little cupboard that's underneath the cooker, which is really useful because every space is a premium. So Chris created this little area, which is great. So we can put all the pots and pans somewhere. Ta-da! Really love the tiles. I think they work really well, especially with the um, with the cupboard doors, etc. So Chris did the tiling and I did the grouting because I think he finds grouting a bit boring, but I really love doing it. So, yeah, it's a great view of, of them and we're really happy with them. This is another quick view of the tiles just to show you because we were going to change the dinette. That's the cushion of the dinette you can see there. We were going to change them at some point, but they're really good quality. And I, I don't think they've been sat on very often because they're just in great condition. So we thought that tied in nicely with the blue, keeping that running through from the kitchen and into the dinette. This is the tiling finished off around the um, cooker. It was a little bit tricky to get this correct because there's quite a lot of angles going on there. But I think you'll agree that Chris did a great job and my grouting looks even better. Right, this is the final pick just to finish with. So ignore the curtains because we've changed them now. Um, this is the view into the diner and the kitchen. You can see that the ceilings and the walls are all painted on there and um, so if you watch the next video which i'm hoping to upload today possibly tomorrow um that will show you the whole view of the boat so you can see what it looks like now 
there's obviously still lots to do as there always is um but we thought we'd show you a video of where we are now and then we can keep posting updates so i hope you've enjoyed it like subscribe and all that kind of malarkey and um have a good week and we'll hopefully see you soon Ta-ra!